Hey guys, Mighty Ferret here with uh, June's look right. Uh, not June. Uh, May. May's look right. Whoops. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, this month's theme is Unite. Now I've already opened this one because my dad really wanted to see it and he doesn't understand a blind unboxing. So first things first, uh, you need to find this. Is that there? That's not anything to do with look right. That's just a remote for the my um, recording light because I can change the color of the lights. It just comes in handy. Anyway, first things first in the look crate, we have a look crate exclusive. It was made by a. Goldkin, apparently. Huh? A flop house as well. It's, um, the t shirt. It is a Power Rangers t shirt. Uh, I wonder, is it better off in that mode? Yeah. Um, that you can actually probably. Hold on. I'm just trying to find the light colour that looks best. It makes it look best on camera. Probably that one actually. Um, yeah, it is a Power Rangers T-shirt, uh, the Green Power Ranger. Um, obviously, um, I never really watched Power Rangers. I mean, I know the big following and everything. I never really watched it. Um, I mean, I was in the nineties when you know Power Rangers was around, but never really got into it. Still, it's a cool t-shirt. I prob I will wear it, obviously. But yeah, that's the first thing. Uh, next up we have... It's the magazine, I'll leave that for later. Next up we have these. Um, this is where I really wish I had a zoom on my camera. I really need to find a good lighting mode for this. Here we go. That's probably the best one to use for this, right? These are Marvel um, shoelaces. Now, these apparently are 48 inch or adult size, but. Come on, piece of. <sighs> Damn you, American packaging. Here we go. Oh wow! The okay, these are designed clearly designed for like city California streets and stuff. Because if you use these in Britain, they would probably actually get ruined because these feel like silk. They're probably not silk. They're probably. Um, did I actually say what they're made of? Or have I destroyed that bit of the packaging completely? Pretty shoelaces did a bit. No, it generally doesn't say what these are made out of. I think they're actually polyester, but yeah. Those are the laces. They're actually they are really cool, but oh, they are adult size as well. Forty inch, like they said. But like I said, that fabric does not feel like it would survive in. Uh, the upper British environment, especially where I live. Like, they might survive in, like, London and that, but I live in a rural environment, and they're going to get caked in mud. Push those off to the side. Really should fold those up, actually. Uh, next, we have... Now, I'm going to say, uh, Loot Crate actually missed a trick here. I'll, I'll get... I'll, I'll tell you why. Team Forge two badges. There is red, blue, Balloonicorn, and Sandwich. Now they missed a trick because uh, these are obviously actually licensed. They're look great exclusive, but they're obviously licensed to Valve. Valve has got a big habit of putting TF2 items on their products, um, especially TF2 products, which this is. So I'm surprised this didn't come with a code to get like a little item in Team Fortress 2. 
like the badges or obviously not the blue unicorn because uh, that's a premium item like just a little thing like maybe even a little loot crate but eh what are you gonna do Um. Next we have is it is a Rick and Morty puzzle. Now I have never seen Rick and Morty. Now I know some people. In fact, I know uh, Nerd Cubed would probably kill me if he heard me say that. Thankfully, I'm not popular enough to be on his radar. Um. But yeah, it's kind of weird. It's. A puzzle, so I'll be building this on the end. Oh, I didn't realise Rick and Morty was Adult Swim. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit. I'm recovering from the cold. Um, yeah, I I do want to watch it, obviously. Just let me open the box and... Yeah, I'll be building that as a jump cut, I think. That is... That is a big puzzle. Although I do like jigsaw puzzles, so that's actually quite a nice touch. Next we have... Now there's a competition link to this item. And it's a competition I am uh, planning on entering, for one reason. Marvel Ice Cube Tray. Now, I don't know what these are made out of, because that it's like a really thick rubber. But it says, um, you can't microwave it, you can't put it in the oven, you can't dishwasher it, you can't even put it in hot water. So it's clearly not silicon. Because I know silicon is heat resistant. It, it doesn't actually say what these are made out of. Which is, uh, slightly worrying, but... Yeah, the um, competition to go with it is a... Um, make a Marvel-style drink contest. Well, lads, I've got one thing to say. Challenge accepted. It probably wouldn't make it in this, but... That would be a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Let's make a soft drink, but... I do need to get into the Marvel's Expanded Universe, so I'm not just doing, like, you know, Spider-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Fantastic Four, and the Avengers. Which is, like, the bare minimum Marvel I know just now. I am planning on learning more, though. I know, like, I know all of Daredevil. Um, what's next? We also have an Avengers Age of Ultron decal. Now, I do like getting the decals, but I like them to be a bit more obscure, you know, slightly less... ...markety? I mean, that's the design there. You can barely make it out on that. Alright, I've just noticed. My camera usually drops frames. Now it seems to be running oddly quickly. Strange. Anyway, yeah, that's the... Um... Decal. Apply to a green, dry surface. Okay, I think I might need to cut it. Oh, or not. I was going to say, I think I need to cut it because it's got a um, thing there. Anyway, probably going to stick that on the side of my computer again. Hold on. Seriously, if Loot Crate send me 
a sticker every box until the end of the year, I'm going to run out of space for them. I'll take a shot of my computer one day and show it to you. You'll probably only see it if you if you go to Twitter. Ah, oh, god damn it! Something keep getting caught in my chair. Uh, we also have something that I was not expecting. It is a Loot Crate edition of Mad Magazine. Now, I... didn't even realise that this was still a thing. There's also a special offer for Loot Crate so, um, subscribers. You can get a free issue of Mad on your iPad. Thanks. I don't have an iPad. And it's genuinely actually says it's only available on iPad. I, the tablet I have is a Kindred Fire. Anyway, yeah, this is um, Mad Magazine. I genuinely, I've never seen this magazine before. I don't really think it's a big thing in Britain. What's this? Subscribe to Mad. Yeah, wow. That is cheap. It's sixty dollars for an international subscription to Mad for three years. That's wait a minute. Yeah, that's twenty dollars a year. That is amazingly cheap actually. Especially since a lot of magazines in Britain, you'd pay that for four magazines. But yeah, it's uh All comics and stuff. It's this actually might be a real, rather interesting read. Hmm. Interesting. We also have um, Bravest Warriors issue number one. I'm pretty sure they've already given us this as a digital, but it's nice to have the actual printed edition. I'm not going to open this one because, um, like, if you, it's it's an art style. If you haven't seen Bravest Warriors, just go look it up on YouTube, seriously. Specifically look for this character here. I want him as a plushie. Uh, the last thing we have, apart from the, you know, magazine, is obviously the Unite badge. No, that that actually, um, that's the thing actually, because that uh, badge thing that I've got hanging up with all the badges on it, it's actually getting quite full. Because I've got one, two, three, what is it? Sorry, no. <coughs> 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 ah, like I said, I'm recovering. Anyway, yeah, I've got 17 of these badges. Ah. The last thing we have is, um... The magazine. The Unite magazine. Now, we've got... So, you know... <coughs> cool from... That just uh, information on the theme. <clears throat> Pictures of uh, it was supposed to be last month's looters, but they all seem to be looter pictures from the month before. Because that one was covert, last one was uh, fantasy. Proof, fantasy, number 21, this one, number 22. 
and watching you look to create. And then it's got greatest comic teams of all time. And then we've got the interview with um, Boom Studios. <coughs> I don't really go through any details. If you did want to read these, really, you should subscribe to Look Right, um, because there's actually a lot of detail in this. And reading it through the camera, and uh, this is this one's mega great. Um, you get, <coughs> see if I can remember this. You get a PlayStation 4 limited edition Batman Arkham Knight 500 gigabyte bundle. You get the Team Fortress 2 buff banner or uh, backpack. The Kotobukiya uh, Art FX Avengers Age of Ultron Hulkbuster statue. You get the TF2 Archimedes plush. You get a 7 inch um, Game of Thrones owns Iron Throne replica. You get a red team scarf, arf, a blue team scarf, and a bandolier scarf from Team Fortress 2. You get, um, it says TF2 logo on the keycaps. I'm assuming these are the keycaps, but it says TF2 logo, I would have thought you got all of them, since they show all of them. You get a visual history of DC Comics. You get um, Team Fortress 2 uh, three inch blind bag figurines, a set of 12, a signed Rick and Morty script, a signed Rick and Morty skateboard, and then there's Mega Crates, where you get a uh, Four Funko Mini Wacky Wobble heads and uh, Bravest Warriors Volume One, and it says TPD. So what is this then? Surely that's surely it's the same comic, guys. But yeah, I'm not one to judge. Have I missed anything? No, that is the genuine theme. And then it's got the information on the items. Right, now I'm going to stop recording here and try and build up this damn puzzle. So I need to clear uh, space on this desk. Really should stop recording first, shouldn't I? Three hours. Three hours this took me, not including a break for lunch. Oh my god. And the problem is, it can't stay here, which means I need to take it apart again, and I've just broken part of it. But yeah, this is the Rick and Morty puzzle. Unfortunately, it's not very good quality on camera, just because you can see um, all the lines and stuff in the join. Um, from a distance it probably looks better, but because my camera is fixed pretty tightly by wire, because, you know, trust don't realise that cameras need to be able to move around a little bit, especially these days where everyone does everything in line. Hmm. But I'm going to leave it there just now, because, it, like I said, it took me three hours to make. I was actually was obviously doing it around this, oh crap, this way, so... Yeah, I'll probably um, frame this actually because it's actually quite nice. Um, yeah. Uh, also, <sighs> I don't know next month's theme yet, so. <laughs>